Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. We're so excited to have you again. Some time ago, a former army, or let me say an army officer of Fulani descent, or Musa Dawa, uh, told Nigeria that he was going to re resign from his job so that he can extensively get committed to the cause of campaigning for Peter Obi, the presidential aspirant of the Labour Party. And uh, it all went through. You know, after a few months, the whole thing went through. But he had, he has a very thin warning that he has decided to send across to Peter Obi. We are going to be looking at what the thin warning is. Don't forget, this man just let go of his job just to um, campaign for Peter Obi to ensure that he wins. And um, when we heard it, it was really shocking and surprising. He gave his reasons, and right now he has this to tell Peter Obi. We are going to be looking at that in a jiffy. Now, according to the news, a former Nigerian soldier, Musa Dawa, who resigned from the Nigerian army over his decision to vigorously campaign for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has now issued 10 warning to Peter Obi. Musa Dawa, a few months ago, before Peter Obi made a switch from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the Labour Party, announced that his request to the Army Authority to be granted approval for voluntary resignation from the force was approved. He disclosed that his decision to quit his service to the force was for him to vigorously campaign for Mr. Peter Obi. Hmm, that's quite shocking. I will, according to him, he said, I wish to tell you my voluntary retirement has been approved by the, uh, the headquarters Nigerian Army, which has paved room for me to vigorously campaign for Peter B. as my preferred candidate of choice. Come 2023, inshallah, we will rescue this country. That was what he tweeted some time ago. Interestingly, after a few months of his resignation, Musa Dawa has taken to his Twitter handle to enjoin Peter Obi not to betray the trust he has uh, as well as millions of Nigerians have in him and his ability to turn around the decades of Nigerians' misrule. According to him, he said, I promised myself to vigorously campaign for PO after leaving at headquarters Nigerian army. I slept at the gate because of my children's future hoping it will be better with a better leader. At Peter Obi, when elected come 2023, don't disappoint millions of like minds because our sweet will be on you. Mm. Our sweet will be on you. That is what he had to tell um, Peter Obi. Uh, we, Peter Obi is one person, Nigerians globally, are hoping to see him emerge victorious in the 2023 presidential election, no matter what, because Nigerians trust him. And uh, with the way things are going um, and what I've seen thus far, Nigerians have committed themselves to Peter Obi so much that if he decides to make a U-turn now, he will break the hearts of many Nigerians. And if he fails, if he if he's given the opportunity to run for president or to rule Nigeria, and he fails, Nigerians... Um, may kind of give up on good leadership in the country. You know, but looking at what this guy has written, that the Fulani guy, Musa Dawa, has written, it points to the fact that there is nothing like ethnicity where a problem is to be solved. There is nothing like ethnicity when a problem is to be solved. And that is why he, uh, if you didn't listen to him very well, you heard him say that he's sitting at the gate, that's the gate of destiny, to make sure that there is a future for, he, for his children. Because with the way things are going, if nothing is done about Nigeria, I must say that Nigeria is at is sitting on a cake of gunpowder. Already, when we say these things, most people will say, how can you talk like that against your country? And all? Nobody's talking against Nigeria. We love Nigeria. Nigeria is our country. The reason for all the cessations we are seeing is because of the misrule 
Therefore, I wouldn't, or I probably wouldn't be thinking about uh, uh, that they're going to uh, quit Nigeria and all of that, if not for the fact that they have looked and they have seen that there is no hope for the poor man. And that was why all the agitation and all of that, which they are still standing strongly. But if you listen to this Fulani man, he is doing this to prove to Nigerians that I want the future for my own children and that's what the same thing for all nigerians it is time for us to stop this continuous trouble it is time for nigerians to wake up and vote for a man who will put a smile on our faces once again some people don't even believe in it some believe that ah how can this man stop uh, resign his appointment because he want to campaign for peter will be uh, this is not uh, reasonable and all of that he's trying to let people understand that i'm committed to this cause in other words i need good leadership for my children and you know destiny uh, uh, let me say god is looking at us all for those who are still playing games, still trying to queue behind corrupt leaders and all of that, when the time comes for this country to be sanitized, uh, it, it, we don't know what may happen to them. But hey, this man has proven to Nigerians that he loves the country to a point where he's ready to give up his job just to make sure that there is a future for his own children. I, I'm going to read some of the reactions of Nigerians in respect to this. And someone says, these tribal and religious abuses are powerful political strategy by rivalries to make sure that other tribes will not vote Peter Obi as an Igbo man. Obi is a Nigerian agenda, not Igbo or Christian agenda. Please, we have to consider this. Be polite and respect everybody here. Please stop this issue of abusing. I, I don't know why people act like this. I, I mean, seeing people talk down on the guy and all of that, it's really shocking. You know, don't you know that uh, it's not everybody that play this ethnicity card? It's not everybody. Today, if a right person from, um, you know, the northern part of Nigeria or Muslim descent shows up and is capable, everybody will vote for him. After all, in 2015, that was, one, that was one of the things that made Nigerians, after his song was sung everywhere, Nigerians decided to say, oh, let's vote for this guy because he has capacity, talking about the current, current administration. So we shouldn't be looking at it as this guy is a clown or how can he say such a thing? Uh, why did he have to give up his job and all of that? It's a way of showing his commitment to the cause of choosing good leadership in Nigeria. Now, one say, he says, can we please stop all of these issues of abuse this one say thank you very much for this advice for because a lot of people do not understand what is going on please let us stop saying that somebody that resigned because of peter we are happy for that wow this one here says god bless you Ogasuja. if truly you are with obi with genuine mind and motive god will co- god will come to you protect and keep you above 2023 election but if otherwise you will not witness the election okay people a lot of people are doubting him maybe because of his ethnicity but that's that's very wrong you know to to conclude a man who has given his commitment you know to the cause of uh, Peter Obi. This one says, I think Peter Obi and all those who love and support him should be very mindful and vigilant concerning a full and man trying to support Peter Obi. A snake is a snake, no matter what you call it. No, don't, um, we shouldn't look at these people as if all of them are the same. That's a big lie. Not all of them are the same. Some are there who are reasonable. We cannot say uh, because we have suffered in their hands, the totality of them are the same. That's not true. That's some who are good, you know. We shouldn't be swift to talking down on people and all of that. But I'd like to leave it there. What's your position on this move that was taken by a full animal and the stain warning he has extended?